Let's be real. This is about winning elections. If the Democrats had won two elections recently and lost the popular vote at the same time, there would be some Republicans talking about eliminating the Electoral College. That's how badly people want to win. They'll dismiss the importance of something if it gives them what they want. Look at how we spend money that we don't have, not only at the federal level, but in our personal lives. Look at how much money we spend on plastic surgery every year as a country. More than $16 billion. If we don't like something, we want to change it immediately. Had Hillary won the Electoral College and lost the popular vote, Democrats would be defending it, and it should be defended. It's a genius way of assuring that all states have a say in who the president is. It gives importance to issues that one state may face that other states may not. It allows the minority to have a voice. Who could possibly be against that? The majority. That's who. The majority wants power over the minority. But that's what not only makes our country different than all the rest, it's what makes it so great. The majority isn't allowed to run roughshod over the minority. That's a running theme in our constitutional republic. Our constitution is designed to protect the minority from the majority. And so is our electoral process. The Electoral College makes it so that a few heavily populated areas don't have all the power in electing the president. And in a direct democracy, they would. Think about this. There are a few Democrats who quite often vote with Republicans, like Joe Manchin from West Virginia, who votes with Trump 58% of the time. That's a lot different than someone like AOC, who votes with Trump just 14% of the time. You see, Joe Manchin has different issues to worry about for his constituents than does AOC in New York. And a popular vote would only allow issues of the big population centers, like New York, to be taken seriously. In California, the Democrats decided that we should be a direct democracy, where the majority rules. But that really isn't what they want. They just want their way, and a direct democracy and popular vote is how they think they can get it. We voted to execute the prisoners on death row here in California, and our governor decided, on his own, to stop all executions. Because when we don't vote the way that the left wants us to vote, they just do what they want anyway. It's not that they think the popular vote is fair, it's about what they think is the easiest way to achieve their agenda. What have we been hearing about for two years now? Russian collusion and how the Russians interfered with our elections. But if Democrats are so concerned about outside interference in our elections, the popular vote would open up a world of opportunities for elections to be interfered with. Think about it. Without the Electoral College, they would only have to find one place to interfere in to change the outcome. One heavily populated state could do the trick. But not with the Electoral College. They would have to interfere in many states and in several different election systems to change the outcome. The Russians tried this past presidential election, and after two years of investigation, we know that the only thing they were able to achieve is to get us fighting with each other over false narratives and fake news. And I'm not sure how much of it was really their fault anyway. The Democrats, behind the scenes, were calling the Russian collusion story a nothing burger. Well, the Russian thing is just a big nothing burger. As they continued to go on the air night in and night out, pushing it. They knew there was nothing to it. And even now that the investigation has concluded and no collusion was found, they're still speculating about it. Why? Because they believe it's the best way to beat Donald Trump in 2020. It worked for them in the midterms, so why not the next presidential election? Democrats aren't even considering why the Electoral College is important. In a popular vote system, if white people were as racist as the left makes us out to be, we could pick every winner. But that's not the case with the Electoral College. In states where minorities have large populations, their concerns have to be heard. Hillary Clinton won the popular vote by 3 million votes. If you don't count California and New York, she lost by 3 million votes in the other 48 states. The Electoral College did exactly what it was designed to do, which is to stop tyranny of the big states over the little states. Don't forget that we're a federation of states. Why would a small state want to be a part of it if they don't get a say in who the commander-in-chief is? Part of the reason we're the United States is because of the Electoral College. It would be foolish and eventually devastating to forget that. And that's the simple truth. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a supporting member of Blue Collar Logic, 
Check out the links in the description and give what you can.